Hey guys, this is another uh, VJ tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can get an NES, NES ROM hacking program. Uh, this will work for uh, pretty much any 8-bit or 16-bit ROM. First what you're going to want to do, and yes right now I'm uploading a uh, video. This is not the best program out there to do it. Some emulators have a tile program built into them automatically. But first you're going to want to get a ROM. If you already have a ROM to hack, then you can get bored in the video. I'm going to get Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, I'd recommend getting it from the old computer. That's where I got all my ROMs. Yeah, it seems like they updated this site in a while. Uh, after a while. Oh Jesus Christ! After you get through all the annoying advertisements, you can find Super Mario Bros. Three. Here it is. And you can just download it. So you're going to want to take out the ROM, and there's the ROM. Now you're going to want to go to get TLP, Tile Layer Pro. So close this out, go to Google, and type in Tile Layer Pro. Go to the first site, Sonic Retro. And download Tile Layer Pro. Save file. Luckily, no installation is required. It's just a program that you can just use, basically. Uh, you can drag it to your desktop. Okay, so open up TLP. Open a ROM image and I'm going to open the Super Mario Bros. 3 I saved to my desktop and as you can see uh, <laughs> it looks kind of screwed up but if you look through you can actually start seeing some of the images like you can see some maybe mountains or some blocks and down here is the title screen I'm just going to show you how to make a basic edit to the title screen so right here is the tile arranger here's where you can edit your tiles some See, look, you could like drag the word it's over here. And you can basically arrange everything since everything's not quite arranged correctly. I'm just gonna. You can change the title screen. It basically works the same way that, say, a paint program does. Whatever you do to the little square over here, you can edit over here. So let's say I wanted to make the S extremely screwed up. See, I could just do that, and whenever I start the game, that will really be how the thing looks. Or I could just change the uh, Nintendo, right here is Nintendo. I could change that to the uh, yeah, J. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing this extremely fast. Yeah, this will look awful, but it'll. And if you do it right, it'll look fine. You. The only thing is that you kind of have to image how stuff looks in the game, because as you can see, it's not really a, having a full color palette. T and then S. So once you're done with that, you can just save the ROM. And now you're going to need an emulator to play it. So to do this, I would recommend go to Google Virtual NES. Wait. Just type in NES emulators. My favorite one is Virtua NES.
save it. Okay, so open up your ROM you just made. Uh, I saved it on my desktop. Uh, as you can see, the S is kind of screwed up like the way I did it. I didn't really mean to edit it that much. And this has my very bad VJ Tuts thing right here. But, um, yeah, that's basically how you can ROM hack the title screen of most NES games. So please subscribe, rate, and watch the rest of the videos. See ya.